Hey everyone, did you know John Cena can actually act? Yeah, that's that wall. I got eyes on your ass, don't you pass? Oh man, talk to me, talk to me, what do you see? Something's not right. singing for me. For some reason, every time I see the title of the wall, I just want to sing that song. Why is that? Why am I so weird, people? Why? 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 The best way to describe the wall is to say that basically it is the shallows in the desert. So if anyone saw Blake Lively's Shallows um, last year where she's stuck on an island and there's a smart shark trying to eat her and she's like this far away from freedom and rescue and safety, um, that's the wall, in a nutshell, in a nutshell. And it John Cena stars and Aaron Taylor Johnson stars as two American snipers at the end of the Gulf War. It's basically um, a couple of weeks after George Bush declared an end, of, end to the war. And for some reason they're in the middle of the rocky desert and they're scoping out, they're scoping out a scene where, where a bunch of soldiers were shot or are dead and they're trying to figure out how it happened. So apparently they've been in, they've been in the same spot for 24 hours and John Cena's character is basically he's playing Sergeant Matthews and he's tired of waiting. He gets up and he goes he says there's no way there's a there's a Muslim sniper out there. There's no super sniper out there. Let's go. Let's investigate this and get the hell out of here and go home. He's impatient and he gets up and his partner is telling him, don't do it because we don't know if there's a sniper out there. We don't know what's happening here. Stay undercover, but Johnson ignores the order anyway and he goes down and investigates. And of course, there's a mystery sniper out there somewhere in the distance and he gets sniped and he's basically shot in the stomach and he starts bleeding out. So then I. Isaac runs up there to try to save his friend, and of course he gets shot, and he has to run over to this one small crumbling wall and hide behind the wall. And that's the entire movie, in a nutshell, is basically Isaac's character is stuck behind this wall with his friend in the middle, you know, bleeding out, and there's this super sniper who's, who starts dicking with him. And essentially, he starts, he finds his radio frequency, and he basically starts dicking with him for like 80 minutes and trying to find out, you know, everything about Isaac and just playing mind games on him. That's the entire movie, in a nutshell. And in the meanwhile, Isaac is trying to get to this radio that's just out of reach so that he can actually call for backup, call for help with the sniper. Of course, it's kind of just playing around with him and sniping him as he tries to go for it. And in the meantime, Cena is stuck in the middle of the desert. Cena is actually only in this movie for about, for about five or ten minutes. But he's actually really, really good. The problem with the movie is I could never really get past the beginning where basically these two people are supposed to be trained military snipers and they're just dumb as rocks. I mean, you you don't... I'm assuming that every sniper is taught to stay in their position until they are absolutely positive. There's no more, there are no more targets out there. You don't just run into the open when you suspect there's a sniper out there just because you get impatient. That seemed really dumb to me. Like, the smart thing would have been to actually go off in another direction and call for backup or something or, and just stay undercover until the backup comes. That would have been a smart move, but then you don't have a movie. Um, but it's 80 minutes of, bait of essentially Isaac just behind this wall trying to figure out how he's going to survive the mess. As the, as the movie progresses, you get a sense of drag because you know there's no happy ending here. There's no way for him to escape this situation. But it's really good. It's taught. I hate using cliché words like it's taught, but it really is suspenseful. suspenseful it's gripping. I, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson does an amazing job holding this movie together. He's basically the Blake Lively character in this, and he does a great job. And all you see is this, all you hear is this off-camera voice of the sniper who's played by Leith Makey. Um, he plays Juba, 
but we never see him at all. We don't even know exactly where he is. And that's kind of scary because you're stuck in this situation and there's some guy just totally dicking with you. You know he could kill you anytime he wants to. Um, and, you, and you just know you're, there's no way out of it. So there's a whole fear factor that really creeps in as the movie starts. Um, but the problem is, as you watch it, there's, you know there's no happy ending, and you're trying to figure out how they're going to end it. And the ending was inevitably going to be disappointing, but the way he did it was so cliche Hollywood that, that it almost ruined everything that came before. But it's a, it's a really good movie to watch. It's the type of movie you only want to watch one time, just like The Shallows. Only you had a desire to watch that one time, but it's a great movie. And this movie is the same way, where you only want to watch it one time, but it's well worth the journey until you get to that horrible end. So check it out. It's called The Wall, stars John Cena, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Isaac, and late Maki as Juba. But you only hear his voice, you never see him. And the movie really is Isaac, is really Aaron Taylor Johnson's movie. It's really fun. I don't want to say it's fun, but it's a really solid uh, piece of filmmaking there. It's really like enclosed in, in his and it's claustrophobic as it should be, which is kind of weird to say something's claustrophobic when it's, when it's shot in the desert, but it is because he's just behind this one little wall that's like maybe this big and like this, and he's just kind of hiding under it, trying to get to this radio that's right there. At the same time, he's trying to figure out if his partner is dead or not, and it's just really good. It's a solid, solid movie, so check it out. It's called The Wall. Of, it's out now. See that? Hit and run. Whoever he is, he's gone. Unless he's a pro. We got no movement, not a sign of a shadow. I'm going down there, and that's it. Roger that. You got eyes on that wall? I got eyes on your ass, don't you pants? Come on, man, talk to me, talk to me. What do you see? Something's not right. How bad is it? Eyes uh, the bullet went through. I got a man down. Ah! What's your position? Over. We got a sniper. High caliber weapon. Requesting instruction. Sergeant, I need your exact location. Say that again. Sergeant. You got an accent. Not American. You a sniper? Where are you, man? You get eyes on him? Where'd he come from? I don't know! If I were you, I would start talking, Isaac. What do you want? I want to get to know you. I get one shot. No, 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 no. Second you touch that rifle, you're dead! This is true. When this is over, his family won't recognize him. Oh. You're dehydrated. How's this end, man? Death, you will bleed out. Scope is an extension of my eye. You're fading. You're fading. How fantastic. The trigger is an extension of my fist. One, two, three, four, five. The rifle is an extension of me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I strike you down. I don't know where you are now. <laughs> 